stop saying it doesn't matter. Hey guys, my name is Ben Lingle and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are discussing is photography gear really important? Now, let me preface this video by saying I appreciate you if you're just getting started in photography. Thank you for taking that step of getting that camera and really starting to learn it and hopefully, if it's your idea to go into photography, hopefully you succeed in that. Now, let's get more into this content. Let me say that I do agree that it is mostly what you do with your gear that determines how the gear is used and what results you get. However, I do believe there are some things that we need to discuss as far as gear. What kind of gear are you using? What gear should you eventually upgrade to? All of those questions really should be in a photographer's mind when they start. And so a lot of people seem to kind of get this idea that when I get my camera, suddenly I'm a professional photographer. You know, I see a lot of people, and you know, I know they have good intentions, but I see a lot of people who just got a camera for Christmas or maybe their birthday or something, and they decide that once they start getting that camera out and taking pictures, they decide they want to start offering sessions to their friends and family and, and any, you know, stranger out there. My problem with that is that once you start opening that door, you really are hurting professional photographers. Like I said, you're new to this. You can do whatever you want with your gear. But let's be clear that there are more professional steps, more professional equipment that you will eventually need to upgrade to. Now, I was talking to a friend the other day and we were discussing this whole topic of it's not about the gear, it's about what you do with it. We were discussing that and basically what I told him was, he said he was gonna be upgrading soon. He wasn't sure what he wanted to do. He told me he was a hobbyist, so he wasn't looking at it to do it professionally. But basically what I told him was that while I agree that you can start with your gear and get phenomenal results, believe it or not, you can get great level images with entry level DSLRs and an entry level kit lens. It's not that it isn't possible. The thing is though, when you start using that equipment, you will realize that it is still nowhere near the level of some other professional cameras and lenses. And that's the reason why people dish out so much money on their equipment. Now, I will say that if you are really wanting to get into photography, I will say that you probably should start with an entry level DSLR and kit lens. You know, like I said, if you're not sure if you're gonna go into it professionally, then you definitely need to start at that lower level and work your way up to the higher level. But what I don't really like is how people claim that you can get these professional grade photos with a, say, Nikon D3400 and a kit lens like the 18 to 55. Now, I'm not saying you can't get good photos or even great photos with that camera and lens combination, but what I am saying is that there is definitely a difference between a, say, a Nikon D850 and even a Nikon D7100. I started with a Nikon D7100. When I got that camera, I, I didn't know the proper term. I just called it a big camera. And so I was like, you know what? All the professionals, they got the big cameras. I was like, now I've made it. I'm gonna start making money with this thing. I'm gonna start doing really cool stuff. I really didn't know that I could go even above that D7100. Well, it wasn't until a few years later that I realized that I did not have the cream of the crop, right? I realized that I only had an entry level DSLR. And don't get me wrong, the D7100 is a phenomenal camera if you're looking at getting a great intermediate camera. But I, I realized that it wasn't a professional grade camera and I didn't know really the difference between a more professional camera and an entry level camera. So let's talk about that a little bit. So the difference between a professional grade camera, say like the Nikon D850, and an entry level DSLR like the Nikon D7100 is most, mostly has to do with, let's say, um, high ISO performance, all of your low light capabilities, and uh, of course, sensor performance, megapixels, and, and all that type of stuff. Dynamic range is a huge, huge subject as well in this. And so really, when I switch to full frame, when I went with my D750, my D850, I realized how the pros were getting such incredible shots. So aside from your camera body, 
uh, you know, the differences between a more professional uh, camera body versus a more entry-level camera body, uh, you have the lenses as well. Now, I started with the Nikon 18-140 to lens, and once again, just like my uh, idea about my body, I thought that I had the cream of the crop of all lenses. This lens was going to give me incredible portraits that I was seeing online where the background was mush, you know, it had tons of bokeh in it, and, you know, I thought I was going to get these incredible, incredible images. Boy, was I wrong. The 18-140 to kit lens definitely, in no way, shape, or form, comes anywhere near my other lenses that I have now, like the 70-200 to 2.8 or the Nikon 85 1.4 lens. It's just one of those things, right? Like I said earlier, it's not that you aren't capable of getting great images with the camera you start with. I highly recommend if you have a camera, right, even if it's a point and shoot, Start learning your craft on that camera. Just practice on it and, and start to learn composition, start to learn you know, lighting and, and other things because eventually those will be put into effect. But once the final image comes out of that camera, it's definitely not gonna be the highest quality image that you can possibly get. So that's why gear, in my opinion, does matter. And I think we need to change the mentality of this whole talk about gear. Yes, it is mostly what you do with that gear, but when it comes down to really critical situations, say like low light or other things like portraits with lots and lots of creamy bokeh, it's really important to discuss why people pay more for that equipment than the entry level equipment. Guys, as always, thanks for watching this video. Remember, we're going to be uploading new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Central Time. And, uh, you know, if you like this video, tell me what your thoughts are. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I don't really care. That's up to you. Guys, like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and help us get to 1,000 subscribers before summer. Thanks, guys, for watching and have a great day. Balingal out.